Ukrainian tennis has truly come into its own with the rise of young talent Elena Svitolina. Not only is she skilled on the court, but she has also captivated men with her beauty and stunning physique. Elena Svitolina started playing tennis at the age of five, realizing that her brother was receiving a lot of attention for his tennis skills. By the age of 13, businessman Yuri Sopronov became her sponsor. Svitolina turned professional in 2010 at the age of 16 and carried the hopes of Ukraine after winning the French Open junior title. Three years later, the girl from Odessa quickly showcased the skills of a future tennis star by winning her first singles title at the Baku Cup. Svitolina's career then soared, reaching the quarterfinals of the 2015 French Open. Shortly after, she claimed victory at the WTA Clay Court Tournament in Marrakech, Morocco, and joined the ranks of the world's top female players by winning the Malaysia Open in 2016. Her best year in tennis was likely 2019. In 2019, she reached the semifinals of both Wimbledon and the US Open, but was defeated by Simona Halep and Serena Williams, respectively. Her highest singles ranking was number three, achieved in 2017. Her remarkable rise within just two years set a new milestone in Ukrainian tennis history as she climbed to 14th in the WTA rankings for female players. This was the highest ranking ever achieved by a Ukrainian woman in WTA competition. Furthermore, she has become a source of national pride both on and off the court. It's no wonder, given that the 21-year-old not only possesses immense talent, but also boasts a strikingly attractive and curvaceous figure that always draws the attention of onlookers. Indeed, at a time when the Russian doll Maria Sharapova and beauty Anna Ivanovich were experiencing a decline in their form, Svitolina's beauty became a hot topic in the tennis world. Justine Hanin, the former world number one and Svitolina's coach, once remarked, She has a natural but incredibly captivating beauty. She plays with boundless energy and always gives her all. People were concerned that Svitolina's hard work and relentless training would make her look rigid or lose her charm. But on the contrary, she only gets more beautiful, and soon enough she'll drive men crazy. With a wild yet enchanting face, a perfect figure and harmonious beauty, the young Ukrainian girl is chased by the media at every tournament. For men who are passionate about tennis, Svitolina is always a bright spot even when she doesn't shine on the court. In fact, paparazzi are always trying to capture her in her most revealing moments, whether she's training, walking her pets, or shopping. Svitolina is well aware of this and doesn't mind, knowing that media attention will help her join the ranks of tennis beauties with numerous sponsorship deals. Although she hasn't yet kissed a Grand Slam trophy, the Ukrainian beauty has secured deals no less impressive than those of Sharapova, Ivanovich, Azarenka, or Wozniaki with major fashion brands. Most recently, Svitolina was selected as the global ambassador for the Italian brand LS and the French brand Lacoste. With her existing beauty, Svitolina is on the path to becoming the new tennis queen if she can make a stronger mark in Grand Slam tournaments. This year, although she disappointed at the Australian Open and the French Open, with the help of legend Justine Hanin, she will gradually overcome her shortcomings. This investment is also expected to bring new momentum to Svitolina, as she once declared, I want to become world number one, and one day soon, I will achieve that. However, this flower is already taken. She is now the wife of Gail Monfils. This adorable couple began their sweet love story back in 2019. Immediately, they received overwhelming support from fans worldwide. Svitolina and Monfil's Instagram and Twitter accounts were filled with positive and endearing posts, showcasing their love and making everyone feel like their own lives were shining brightly. On April 3, 2021, the couple got engaged, and a photo of the Ukrainian beauty showing off her engagement ring on her Instagram account garnered over 150,000 likes. The combination of Svitolina and Monfils made them one of the most compelling tennis couples, rivaling international tennis superstars like Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. Some even described them as Mr. and Mrs. Tennis. In July, they tied the knot. The world's cutest tennis duo, Ukrainian beauty Alina Svitolina and sliderman Gail Monfils, were married in Geneva, Switzerland. At their lovely wedding, with white and lavender as the theme colors, the Ukrainian tennis player emotionally described it as the most beautiful day of my life. The world has been enthusiastically congratulating the newlyweds and their wedding outfits. The bride wore a white gown designed by American fashion designer Virgil Abloh from the Off-White Bridal Collection, and the groom donned a suit from the Off-White Collection, coordinated with lavender flowers, have set a new trend on image-sharing social networks, especially on Twitter and Instagram, Alina Svitolina, this famous star, will end her 2024 season early due to injury. 
Just days after three-time Grand Slam finalist Ons Jabour announced she would sit out the rest of the year due to an ongoing shoulder issue, Elena Svitolina revealed on her social media channels that she had recently made the decision to undergo foot surgery. In her post, Svitolina shared photos of herself lying in a hospital bed and being wheeled out by her husband, Gail Monfils, with her foot protected. She expressed hope that the surgery would address the issue she had been struggling with since last season, a year she also ended prematurely. The former world number three wrote that, Control became harder and affected me more and more, not only in tennis and training, but also in my daily life. Compensating for the injury indirectly caused a series of other illnesses for Svitolina, with back and hip problems also affecting her this season. I couldn't train for more than an hour, she said in Cincinnati. I wondered, why am I doing this? I'm not at 100%. My game is about physicality, so if I don't have strength, there's no reason to play. Elena Svitolina gave birth to a baby girl in October 2022. They named her Sky Munfils. The Ukrainian player, currently ranked number 28, last played at the U.S. Open, where she lost to Coco Goff in three sets in the third round. Her season was highlighted by a quarterfinal at Wimbledon, a runner-up finish at the WTA 250 in Auckland, and fourth-round appearances at the Australian Open and Roland Garros. She also defeated Jessica Pegula, who later reached the U.S. Open final, in a dramatic three-set match at the Paris Olympics. Although ending her first season as a touring mother early, Svitolina, who returned from maternity leave in April 2023, has vowed to come back even stronger than before. I'm determined to do everything I can to return to the court and compete at the highest level, she wrote. I want to thank all of you for your support and encouragement during this challenging time. Your love and positivity mean so much to me, and I can't wait to see you all back on the court in 2025. Alina Svitolina's net worth is estimated at around $20 million as of 2024. She has endorsement deals with Adidas, Wilson, Superior Golf, Pustovit, Jan Nish Concept, and EFIT. Alina Svitolina has won 17 WTA singles titles in her professional career. Meanwhile, her husband Gail Monfil's net worth is estimated at $10 million. He is sponsored by prominent brands such as Rokit, eToro, Maui Gym, and Artengo. As we reach the end of this remarkable journey through Alina Svitolina's career, it's clear that her story is one of perseverance, passion, and undeniable talent. From a young girl in Ukraine dreaming of greatness to becoming a global tennis sensation, Alina has not only inspired fans with her incredible skill, but also with her resilience in the face of adversity. Whether it's battling injuries, managing the demands of professional tennis, or balancing life as a new mother, Svitolina's determination has remained unwavering. With her eyes set on even greater heights, she's more determined than ever to claim the titles and recognition she's long worked for. As we look ahead to 2025, there's no doubt that Elena Svitolina will continue to make headlines, both on and off the court. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the life and career of one of tennis's brightest stars. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest from Elena and the world of tennis. Until then, remember, champions are made not only in victories, but in how they rise from every challenge. See you in the next video.